Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a very unique style of an alcohol pocket camp stove that you can literally carry in your pocket. Let's check it out. All right, what you see in front of you is the actual stove. That's it. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you folks, yes, you could make something like this at home. However, how much are you willing to spend to find this exact case, the right mesh, the right carbon felt that you'll have to order off Amazon because no one around here sells it locally. So that's why I decided this was kind of cool. Um, without going through trial and error, I was able to buy it. They're very affordable. They're under $10. They're $9.89. So I really got it because the first thing I thought when I saw this was an Esbit burner. I was like, oh man, that is perfect. And sure enough, you know, I'll show you my Esbit burner here that's a very well-used older Esbit burner. I may have to open this up a bit. There we go. Sure enough, it fits right in there. Perfectly flush. So I'm thinking, wow, that is absolutely perfect. And I don't have to worry about using any kind of um, tabs with me or anything like that. As a matter of fact, I can get an entire um, two cups of water boiled or whatever with just a small little container of fuel. Now, the fuel we're using for this today is heat. Okay, and I do have a little in there. I don't have too much. What I did was I just dumped a little bit. Some of it evaporated in this and it was down to about here. So I dumped that in there and we're going to put more in before we try it. But I really like this thing. It's perfect for an everyday carry situation. Of course, it's good for your bug out bags or get home kits. Um, get home kits less because really you're not worried about cooking on a get home kit. You're worried about getting home. But it's actually kind of handy for pretty much everything. So it's super small. It's easy to carry. Very lightweight. Got an energy saving design. 40 milliliters of alcohol will burn for 45 minutes. It uses that 304 stainless steel mesh with a carbon fiber underlay there and a tin sliding cover box here. I couldn't even begin to think. Now, yeah, you could probably build this in an Altoids tin, but I couldn't even begin to think where I'd find something like this that kind of slides out and uses it as a snuffer. And the Altoids tin has that lid that you'd have to take off or have it hanging out of the outside of one of these. So what we're going to do today is a very quick boil test. We're going to do two cups of water. I have two cups of water in my little uh, best guard, best, uh, best, what is it, best, best guardo, or best, best targot, or whatever the heck they call it. It's a titanium little pot, and we're going to try it out. Now, I'm not going to weigh it before, because I do have some alcohol in there. I want to be fair to it. I want to let it burn off. So, we're going to weigh it after, once it cools off, and I'll tell you the weight on it. But uh, it's definitely super lightweight without any fuel in it. Now, will it hold the fuel in there? Let's see. It wasn't like dripping soaking wet when I put it in there. I'm shaking it now and nothing's coming out. So it seems to hold it in there pretty well. Remember, you have the carbon felt under here. So we'll hold it in there. And as you can tell, I did try do a trial burn on it. Um, it worked very, very well. I was really impressed with it. So what we're going to do is just place it in here. I'm not going to bother with the snuffer for now. I can always put that over the top if I have to after. And I'm going to move these in a little bit. Not too much because I don't want the... Fuel. Now, if I were using this outdoors, especially today because it's a nice, cold, windy, rainy day, I would probably want a windscreen around this. Um, it's a big surface, rather wide area to boil water on, but still I'd probably want a windscreen. Uh, today, of course, we're doing it indoors because it's pouring rain outside. We've had this massive like, week of rain out here in the desert, and we're going to try it out. So, got a little steel work block there. I'm going to put it there and I'm going to put a little more alcohol in it or a little more fuel I should say because I don't think that's anywhere near full. Like I said some of it had evaporated from my container. There we go. Alright. I'm amazed at how much this soaks up by the way. It's just incredible. It soaks up so much fuel. Uh, you know normally an alcohol stove You'd fill it to the top and that's it. There's nothing to soak, but this thing soaks it up so it really holds it in there. So we are going to light it real quick. That's the easy part. Now, the good thing about this is you don't have to wait for it to bloom. I'm going to turn off the light so you can take a look at it. I don't know if you can see it going. Let me straighten it out in the middle of the... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, just catching on that side. There we go. So now that whole surface is on. That whole surface is going. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this and put it on here. This has two cups of water in here. And we are going to time it. I've got my clock over here. And I'm just going to use a clock on the wall. 
And it's 9.23 a.m. right now. We're putting it on. We're going to see about how long it takes. You see two cups of water in there. And I'll bring you back when we got boiling water. All right, I got a boil. It is 9.29, so that's about six minutes. There you go. That's impressive. Especially since that water is really, really cold, because it's cold out here. So what I'm going to do is let this finish, finish burning. I'm not going to put it out. I want it to finish burning and get completely burned out so it's the right weight. It's dry, in other words. And uh, make myself some coffee in the meantime. And bring you back once it's fully dried out and empty. And then we'll weigh it and we'll measure it. Uh, my main thing for this is, you know, I always carry like a kind of a homemade emergency MRE in my day bag. I figure in the world we live in where you're likely to get locked down in a mall, locked down somewhere, who knows where, you know, with all the craziness going on in the world. Um, if you're in there for a very long time, you might get hungry. Not a life or death thing. Yes, you're going to live, but why not be comfortable? So I make myself like a mini MRE with those little thin, it's almost like the thin tuna things, but they're chicken and maybe a thing of rice in there and a thing of crackers and I zip tie it all up I zip seal it all up you know vacuum seal it and uh, that's definitely an easy way to cook it if I want to warm it up that's really cool uh, my biggest thing would be carrying around uh, you know something like that which I probably wouldn't do but as far as getting the fire going and having a fire burning somewhere that's freaking cool and it's small and it fits right in your pocket so let's let that burn out get it as empty as we can i'll get you a rough estimation of weight once it's all burned up and i'll bring you back when that's done all right so it's fully burned out it didn't burn for 20 minutes i'd say more like 15 or 40 minutes as they said i'd say more like 15 minutes then again i don't know how full it was because i put some of the other end plus that so we're going to dump it in here and weigh it let me zero that out there we go Okay, 0.99 ounces. I hope you can see that. This, this for some reason, this screen is horrible to read. I got to get a new, um, a new uh, scale or 10.2 ounces. Anyway, about an ounce. Not heavy at all. Not hard to use. Very simple to put together. Definitely like it. It's really, really tiny and convenient, and so affordable. Yes, you can make your own. Yes, you can go out and buy all the parts and do that. I'm aware of that, but I kind of like the fact that this is a ready-made package. I can just toss in cargo pocket and take with me if I ever do need portable heat, a portable stove, whatever. It's right there for me. Very, very simple to use. So let's measure it really quick. That was the interesting thing about this. There was no information about that, measurements or anything. All right. So about four inches across, about four inches across, about two, three inches wide and thickness, let's say. I'd say almost an inch, like three quarters of an inch. Not bad. Very, very small. Eat light in your hand. As you can see in my hand, it's rather compact. And again, if you're carrying an Esbit stove with you and you don't want to carry a bunch of tablets to make a meal, this is definitely the way to go. And it fits right in there flush. Really easy to use. So that is this very unique alcohol stove. I found it on Amazon. I will put a link down below for you so you guys can check it out as well. Let me take it out so you can look at it. So you guys can check it out as well. And I think it might benefit some of you folks who don't want to bother with uh, putting together one or finding the right parts for it. Um, if you want to make your own, hey, go for it. It's another idea. Uh, that's another reason why I show all this stuff. It isn't for you to go out and buy it. Sometimes it's just to give you ideas of what's out there and what you could make on your own. Or to give you a look at all the variety of products that are out there. Anyway, folks, so thank you for watching. I will put the link down below for this. Like I said, these are $9.89 if you want to pick one up. Underneath that is our Amazon affiliate store. Even if there's nothing in the store you like, if you click that link and you shop as you normally would, it really helps us out. We have our freeze-dried wholesalers link. I have an amazing freeze-dried item coming soon that you guys are going to want to check out. It's another one of his mid-rat sales. It's a pre-order, I believe, and it's, it's amazing. So <laughs> that's coming up soon. But if you are interested in getting some freeze-dried food put away for emergencies, right there, this is fresh, no preservatives, no junk. This is real food. And using my link saves you 15% just for using the link. That's it. When you check out, you'll see my discount right there. 
Underneath that's our My Patriot Supply. That's preparewithiridium.com. Definitely check them out. If you're interested in the more of the stuff that's on that site, you can click one of the food links and check out all the other items that they sell there. But my site has the deals for the food. We have $200 off a three-month kit and $50 off a two-week kit, so definitely check them out. And below that is our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. If you guys are interested in Thrive, there's nothing to buy. There's no memberships. You don't have to. You can test the stuff out first. And then if you like it, you can become either a delivery customer or a consultant and resell to your friends. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.